I really wanted to uh, change up the form factor of my motor drivers and um, I mean I use oftentimes I use these uh, uh, Brian uh, I want to say Schmaltz Schmaltz easy drivers um, and they're they're good and they, they I can't remember what voltage they'll accept up to I don't want to say almost 30 volts maybe uh, but they're great like I think they're they're fantastic but Polulu makes these nice little uh, dual DC motor or single stepper motor motor drivers. So you see the form factor is just so small. It, it's, yeah, I couldn't help but, but want to give this a try. Now, let's look at the the pins for, for a moment. Like you can see there, on this board in particular, the screen printing for the pins is on the bottom. It makes it a little bit difficult, but we'll take a quick look. So on the left-hand side, we have the PWM. Uh, the, uh, there's an input, two inputs, a standby pin, two more inputs, another PWM pin, and a ground. And then on the other side whoop, is uh, the ground VCC, which is five volts coming in from your microcontroller in the most, most cases. Your four pins for your motor, so your, your bipolar stepper motor, or your two DC motors would be these two pins. But bipolar stepper will give you this, these four four um, four wires. And then a five uh, wire bipolar stepper, you would attach the fifth wire to ground. Um, and then your your voltage for your motor, which in my case is a 12 volt uh, NEMA 17, and then my ground for the for the voltage. So. Um, I ended up having an issue where I couldn't figure out why I couldn't make this work. And then uh, a buddy of mine messaged me and said, well, you know that that standby pin needs to have a 10K resistor on it to, to you know, uh, bring it high. And I said, actually, I didn't know that. So very quickly, I had everything else wired up, but it's pretty funny that that was the one thing that I missed. So there's my 10K resistor on the standby pin. And then I've just got, I have my uh, voltage from my um, Arduino coming in here and I've just shared it across the rails. So everything that has a, you know, there's the PWM, PWM, ground. There's the voltage in and there's ground. And this is my 12 volts with a you know little thousand um, microfarad uh, capacitor. Uh, this is for the power for the, the stepper, and of course, there's my stepper. Um, I have a flower attached to the stepper. <laughs> um, but yeah, once I got that, once I got that 10k resistor in there, it made all the difference. So I'll, I'll plug everything in and just show you. It should. I'm almost positive the last program I put on that stepper was, or on the Arduino was, um, just a basic up and down. But we'll see. So I'll just plug that in. Let's free up this cord. Plug this in. Yeah. So there you go. That's the Pololu. And I want to say it is the T66. Here, I'll take a look. T6612 FNG, T6612, 6612 FNG dual motor driver carrier. Uh, and again, it they say for the most part it's for two bi-directional DC motors, but also one bipolar stepper motor. And I'm using it for a project where I'm gonna run two steppers and, and this form factor is fantastic because it gives me quite a bit of freedom um, for my setup and that's it enjoy uh okay so i thought i'd show the the uh, pin out for the pin diagram i thought i'd show you the pin diagram of how i've connected up the board in this video uh you can see I have motor coil pair one to 
A01 and A02, mortar coil pair to, to B02 and B01, uh, AIN2 and AIN1 to D4 and D5, bin 1 and bin 2 to D67. Um, and then the, the way the ground or the 10K ohm resistor is connected to the standby pin and to uh, 5 volt PWM A and PWM B are connected to 5 volt uh, the V mode, uh, so v voltage for the motor and 12 volt and voltage for uh, the VCC is 5 volt. Um, I'll also include the uh, a link to the Adafruit um, tutorial this came from so you can get a, a look at that code as well.